Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome today to the biggest Transformers crystal opening we have done on this channel. So today we have 15 premium bot crystals. Uh, we have three crystals that are going to guarantee a free star bot. So hopefully we're going to get something good. Like what I'm really hoping for in today's video, uh, a free star Motormaster, uh, awakening my Ironhide would be amazing. Getting an RC or a free star Windblade would also be ideal as well. So I think as a free star, like those are the characters that I'm mainly after at the moment. If we get a four star, that'd be pretty sweet as well. But at the moment in the current state of the game, three stars can reach a bit of a higher power threshold. However, if we get a four star, that'd be amazing for the future. But for right now, it's kind of the focus is on three star characters. So hopefully uh, we can get some pretty good ones today. Really, really would like a three star motor master and to take him all the way up to uh, max rank. That'd be pretty sweet, but we're going to have to see uh, what we get. So let's start spinning some of the uh, the premium bot crystals then so we have uh 14 fully formed and then we have one via one via shards as well so we're gonna spin these guys to see the uh excitement slash potential disappointment oh, i wouldn't mind a free star barricade as well that'd be pretty awesome like i've heard a lot of good things about barricades so i would not mind picking him up as a free star plus a special two has that power drain ability so that's uh, exceptionally good, especially when uh, you struggle to bait special freeze sometimes. Right, let's go for the second crystal. And we're going to get the free star wind blade. Yes! Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Off the second crystal on a premium one as well. Right, this opening is already off to a great start. I think out of the 15 premiums, if we get two free stars, I'd be pretty happy. But if we get three, that would be pretty good. If we get any more than three, that would be... Uh, Pretty damn good, pretty damn good. So, uh, but you know, free, I think is a little bit ambitious for premiums. Usually, they ain't too great, you know, going by Marvel Contest of Champions rates. Okay, a two-star barricade, I guess we can take that, right? We just got a three-star wind blade, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've got so many three-star bludgeons, it's unreal. Bludgeon is my uh, top transformer at the moment, um, but I've managed to get the three-star bludgeon, I think about five times, and for some reason, I'm getting a load of achievements now. Amazing. I don't know why these achievements are just all of a sudden coming up, but uh, yeah, we'll take him. Add that to the game center. Right, another two-star Rhinox dupe. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Right, let's go for the next one. Four-star Motor Master. I think would be ideal if we get that. That'd be so sick. It's gonna be a two-star Rhinox. Very, very close to awakening our three-star Ironhide then. If, if only, like, I imagine, like, a three-star Ironhide at rank three, level 30. The damage on that character is just going to be absolutely insane. Like, he's ridiculous. So ridiculous as a two-star when his uh, signature ability triggers. But as a three-star, mm, must be pretty amazing. And he's currently not available as a four-star in these crystals. I think he might be added in the near future, though, because I know his uh, arena was last round. So I'm not really too sure if they're, you know, how they're handling that. But I don't think Optimus is available as a four-star either. And he was in the last arena. Yeah, not seeing any four-star Optimuses, so it might be a while till Ironhide's available as a... Oh! Oh, man, one more would have been so good. Would have been nice to upgrade that two-star one to a four-star, but... Ah, we'll take it, we'll take it. Right, how many more do we have left? I think we've got seven of these, so we've got eight premiums left in total. Only one three-star out of the seven we've got so far, so if we get a little bit lucky, get another three-star, that'd be sweet. But it's two-star side swipe. Right, that ain't, that ain't super great. Maximum for us now is a dupe level 55. I don't know if any of my two-star characters are getting close to uh, dupe level 99. Kind of what stuff you might get there. Are we getting those? I swear we got those achievements like uh, a minute ago. Yeah, we did. Game is 100% working as intended, ladies and gentlemen. Right, another two-star RC. Ability powered up to Guardian's Ferocity is now at 20. I think that's like the fifth one we've pulled in total. Not really too sure what my highest dupe level two-star character is, actually. Should probably pay a little bit more attention to some of the OG ones, because I think we've been playing this game for about four months now behind the scenes. It's pretty likely we've got one quite close to max level, but it's definitely not Mixed Master, as he was only added a week and a bit ago. What's he on now? I think we've got a few copies of him. He's probably on like 20 or something. Again? Why do these achievements keep on coming up? Oh. Right, that's a little bit annoying. I guess it doesn't matter too much. 
Two star Optimus. What ratings he at? Ability. Oh, he's at 55, right. Maybe none of my characters have passed 55 yet. I'm not too sure on that one. Right, let's go for crystal number. I think this is like 12 or 11. I think it might be 11, actually. Still haven't seen another free start. It's going to be two star Optimus. Damn, we used all our luck on that second crystal for the premiums. Right, so that goes up to Breach 60. That's all right. I guess if we're going to get a two star, let it be Optimus Prime. He's already uh, quiet. He's already fully maxed down, quite a high dupe level. I want to see if there's like a max signature ability crystal in this game. Oh, no! We were one off that free star motor master. At least we got some guaranteed free star crystals today. So hopefully we can get something fairly decent from those. And the right, we got one more crystal from here, and then we have one to uh, fully form via the shards after that. So, let's see what this. Oh my, again. Ah, uh, fun times. Okay, another two stars. So, 14 crystals, one free star. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad so far. Start off good. It's, it was a great ratio up until about like seven, eight crystals, then it just went all downhill. So let's go for the final premium, and then let's go on to spinning some of those um, those free star ones. But I'm glad we got the got. I'm glad we got the free star wind blade. It's very useful. All right, it's gonna be a two star ratchet, isn't it? Oh, this feels bad, man. Fifteen two stars, one free stars. Ah, uh, premiums are still ass in this game. So bad. Right. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that then. So, in terms of the shard crystals, we're going to go ahead and open the free star bot crystal now. So, again, we're kind of hoping Awakening by Windblade would be amazing. Uh, Awakening Bone Crusher actually might not be too bad as well. I guess Ironhide, RC, Motor Master, Rhinox. I wouldn't mind a Rhinox either. But let's see what we get. Just anything that we don't already have awakened is kind of what we're after. So, let's see what we're going to land on. It's going to be another bludgeon. It's going to be another bludgeon. Oh, my God. I think that's bludgeon number six is a free star. Actually, is it number six? I have, maybe it's number Maybe it's number three or four. It's a lot of uh, lot of additional resources there, but... Uh, that, that isn't what we wanted. Like, that ain't going to do too much for, for your boy bludgeon there. I've, I'm a little bit worried that all of my remaining free star bot crystals, they're just going to be more bludgeons. Let's see what we get, ladies and gents. We got two more to go. Come on, please be like just a character that we don't have would be pretty sweet. So it looks like we're gonna land on a bone awakening the bone crusher. That's pretty damn cool. I forgot what his awakened ability does exactly. Um, need to look into that. We'll have a we'll have a quick look after we uh, spin the last crystal. That's not too bad. Plus we got plenty of uh, resources now to upgrade bone crusher. Ideally, want to get like a new champion from this one. Are we gonna get Motor Master? Yes! Oh, that is so good! So good! So we got Motor Master from the final crystal. That's amazing. So we got Motor Master, we awaken Bone Crusher, and we got Windblade so far. Ain't going too badly. Like, oh, I'll take that. I mean, we could have gone a little bit better on the premiums, but those two crystals at the very end. Uh, they were not too bad. So we got a guaranteed two-star bot crystal. Let's just pop this open and see what we get. So that brings that to uh, Jeep level 50, another two-star barricade. We also have another two-star one. Another Optimus would be pretty sweet because he's getting pretty close to Jeep level uh, Jeep level 100. Okay, Rhinox, he's still pretty low. Only Jeep level 25. So let's see what we get from the Alliance crystal. Let's pop this one open as well. Hopefully get a two or three-star something. And no, we just got a little bit of uh, all there. And a couple of daily crystals to open. Just anything that isn't complete trash would be awesome. Okay, two-star bone crusher. We'll take that. We'll take that. Yeah, not too bad. Certainly better than like 400 ore. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it. We're saving up the free four-hour crystals. This is something that I've been hoarding for probably about a month now. So that when we get around to doing Legends of Cybertron, which is kind of this game's equivalent to the Realm of Legends, that we're going to be able to use, like, the minimum amount of energy on possible and just be able to, like, fuel off all the uh, the revives and potions that we get in there. But I still feel like it's a lot. we're a little bit off there. I mean, it's just been added, like, that map is ridiculously difficult at the moment. It's probably possible to power power your way through to a certain point, but again, it's a little bit hard to tell because you can't fully scout out the map ahead. 
Right, so anyway, let's have a quick look at Bone Crusher's signature ability. So it's called Pure Hay. Let's see what it does. So actually, uh, what was it? Awakening Bone Crusher only gave us plus five levels. So that means we have indeed pulled six free star bludgeons. Is this six or seven? It's seven. Seven total, right? Yeah, because he's due level 30. Oh, it's ridiculous. So many bludgeons, man. That nobody needs that many bludgeons. You need you need two, and that that's pretty much it. So bleeding opponents fuel Bone Crusher's hatred, raising his attack by 16% and power rate by 6-7% per stack of bleed. Opponents' attack and power rate are reduced by the same amount. Damn! That is really insane, actually, thinking about that. Because you can get, like, usually a few stacks of bleed, especially with, like, the special two. So you can get, like, so much more attack and also increase your power so you can keep on firing off those special attacks. Damn, I had no idea it was that good. I have not looked too much into Bone Crusher, so very, very excited now to get this guy up to, um, kind of rank 3 level 30. I feel like he's going to be an absolute beast of a champion. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this Transformers Forge to Fight Crystal opening. Hope you enjoyed it. I think we did all right. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this Transformers content, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see around Transformers in the comments below. Um, and apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.